okay we are going to discuss open flow example so uh, we have discussed the uh, open flow uh, match action uh, examples uh, from general point of view so we were discussing the data plane for in case of hdn the forwarding flow table that is built up in the hdn at each switch how it uh, works okay so we are going to discuss it through an example suppose we have this network topology okay this network topology and suppose that this is the hdn controller okay the hdn controller and the switches they are using open flow protocol for communication so that's why we call it as a open flow controller okay so you can know that each switch is communicate is direct each switch is directly connected to the controller okay so this controller is building up the forwarding table at each switch okay so suppose the controller has built up the forwarding table at this switch so h3 this is the entries present similarly for s1 for s2 okay now suppose that a packet is the this host 6 with the source address 10.3.0 it generates a packet with the destination address 10.2.0.4 okay so when this packet is transmitted by this host so it will be received at this switch s3 so S3 has the forwarding flow table. So you can see that the source IP address this, destination IP address this, it will match with this and this header, this pattern. So if it is matched with this pattern, then this action will be performed. What does it is? This action is to forward it on port number three. So you can see that the port number three is this one. So this packet will be forwarded on this port okay so when this is forwarded on this port so the packet will arrive at switch s1 now in the s1 switch we have this forwarding table it is built up by who by controller okay so in this case we have the in the in the match or in the pattern we have three fields ingress switch port that what is the port number of this incoming packet so you can see that this packet has arrived on switch on port number one this is the input so on the switch number one this packet has arrived on port number one so it match okay so the IP source if the ingress port number is one and so as this packet has arrived also on the port number one and the source IP address is 10.3 so here the source IP address is 10.3 okay the rest can be anyone wildcard the last two byte and the destination address is 2.2 10.2 this decision is 10.2.0.4 so these two can be anyone but the first two bytes should be 10.1 so it is also here matching so it means that this packet is matching with this entry and what is the action the action is forward four so this packet now will be forwarded to port number four so this is the port number four and this link it will be forwarded and you can know that whenever this packet is forwarded the counter for this field will be or uh, this entry will be incremented here the counter will also be incremented okay so now the packet is forwarded on this port so uh, the packet is forwarded on this port so it will be forwarded on this link so the packet will arrive at switch number s2 now s2 we have these entries if the ingress is port number two and okay so this packet has arrived on port number two okay here the port number two is also but here the IP destination is 10.2.0.3 and here the destination is 10.2.0.4 so it is not matching with this one it is matching with this one 10.2.0.4 because in the packet we have destination it is 10.0.4 so this packet will be forwarded on which so this packet is matching with this entry if it is matching with this entry then it this action will be performed it will be forwarded on, on link number on port number four so this will be forwarded on this port port number four so it will be forwarded on this link okay when this packet is forwarded then the counter for this entry will be incremented by one okay because this packet is matching okay so you can see that when it is forwarded on this link it will be received by the destination 10.2.0.4 okay 
so we have discussed the uh, 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 the open flow uh, um, data plane that is in the data plane in the uh, SGN. Okay, so now how the forwarding table is built up by how this forwarding table is built up by the controller in in the per routing architecture by the routing protocol. So we will discuss these things in next chapter and this is the this will be discussed in chapter number five okay so up to now we have discussed these things i think it will be clear to now so now we are we will go we will start the chapter number five okay